Ja, einen wunderschönen guten Abend einmal mehr aus der Zeche Karl in Essen. Wir sitzen hier mit äh, Maurizio und Jean-François von äh, Cataclysm. Good evening, boys. Good evening. And um, yeah, uh, it's kind of a jubilee for Cataclysm, 15 years of Cataclysm, mm -hmm. basically. So, uh, and I think this is really the first time that you do like a real headline tour in Europe. So, so mm -hmm. how is it so far? Um, it's been really astonishing for us to finally come and you know do the tour we wanted to do for our fans for a long time and you know we always didn't think we were really ready yet and finally uh, the time has come and just uh, everything has planets aligned and uh, the fans wanted it and we're delivering so it's been really really cool and the tour is doing really well. Yeah I mean things have been changing a lot for uh, Cataclysm in the past years actually since the last Three albums. It's been going up straight, mm -hmm. upward, and uh, so, so. What did? What has changed besides the fact that you write better songs? But uh, <laughs> well, what has changed since then? I think we started taking it seriously <laughs> for once. No, I, I just think uh, we've matured as people, and I think we've really found ourselves uh, what we really are good at and what we really want to do. It was not about uh, doing an extreme record for the being for the sake of being only extreme. It was, uh, I think we've become a band that's conscious about writing the good material and material that people can relate to also. Not only for us, you know, we don't really write music only for us. And I see bands that always say that in interviews. I don't care what the fans think. It's our album. If they don't like it, too bad, you know. But then, five records later, they come back to playing what they were playing before. <laughs> no, uh, for us, it's uh, about the fans. And us, of course, we have to like it. But it's also the fans have to like it because you're playing for them too. You know, what's the point of putting records if it's not for the fans also, you know. Well, I digged uh, through the old uh, albums uh, like today and uh, I was kind of surprised. Uh, uh, nobody uh, seems to remember that you played bass in the beginning. So, so when, when did you stop that actually? <laughs> <laughs> I really never did stop. I still play bass and guitar, but like in the background in my house, <laughs> you know. Okay. Um, uh, I started the band. I was an original member of the band. I formed Cataclysm and um, I did, nobody really knew that they thought I came in as a, as a new vocalist to replace my my ex vocalist Sylvain in the first three records, which was kind of the transition period between the new Cataclysm, which is, is now and in the old. But um, yeah, I always written uh, Cataclysm songs, and I've always been very um, um, part of the music writing for Cataclysm, and it's really a group effort. Yeah. Without that, I don't think you have that you know uniqueness of, of a band if you don't have the four ideas together we are four individual listen to all kinds of different things and it's just weird like you ask my drummer you know look at his arms you know did you ever see his tattoos man it's like motley crew dio and he's a total rocker you know like black sabbath and like he tattoos all the bands that he's like influenced them you know it's like every it's like becoming like a big thing in the metal scene now it's more and more of the bands are like i want to take a picture of your arms you know looking at the past i found out like you draw a max he left twice actually 95 he was out and mm -hmm. i think 98 came back and then there was another mm -hmm. time when he was out so, so is this forever now <laughs> this he says it is <laughs> i'm hoping uh i've never seen him as determined as he is he had big shoes to fill after Ma martin left for serenity after the serenity and fire record he had big shoes to fill and i really commend him for not doing exactly what martin was doing he did his own style on in the arms of devastation and i have to say that max's style fits really better for what we do and has a lot of feeling he's very unique drummer and uh i think that um staying home for a whole uh, he had some issues personal issues he had to deal with but uh when you stay home i think for uh, two years and you and you want to be somewhere else playing music on a stage you know his words is i'm dying on a stage so i think mm -hmm. now it's going to be for forever this lineup is the one lineup we want to end cataclysm with yeah. so it's the one that we want to like stay together it's really the real one you know for us actually when cataclysm isn't on i mean you still produce other bands and stuff yeah right? yeah so, so when you take the time to relax actually yeah that's what i was uh, wondering i was like <laughs> Telling, telling to myself, like, I think this year I'm going to take it easy on the producing because it's <laughs> a little heavy. And when I come home, I have only one band I'm going to record. It's like the power, power metal band Anchor mm -hmm. uh, from, from Montreal. And uh, I'm going to do them this summer. And that's you, it. You just did that uh, Man Must Die. Yeah, Man Must Die for Relapse and uh, the DVD. Uh, uh, I've been pretty busy this year. So next year, I think I'm going to just play guitar and, and, and <laughs> maybe do some, some studio in the summertime. But that's going to be it for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah we'll see. We'll see next year what comes up. But uh, this year, it's 
enough work already. So, so you have the producing while you have uh, the booking. I mean, you do book mm -hmm. uh, tours for uh, other bands. So uh, yeah. another thing that I guess gets you busy. I, I guess you don't Very go on the road. Very stressful job, man. I, yeah. I sometimes I regret even getting my hands involved with that. And I see <laughs> all the aspects of it now. And it's just, wow. Uh, I've done uh, booked tours for uh, Vader and um, you know we did a tour together with Vader Cataclysm I, I, and I organized that one and I did the Dismember one also and uh, I also organized now the Destruction tour that's how that's happening now with Sadis and, and uh, so it's like I, I've done a lot of tours it's some, another thing that I'm not sure if I'm gonna really stick with long time because it's so time consuming and Cataclysm mm -hmm. at this point is really 80% of my time and it's just so you know we don't have really a management company yeah. Cataclysm is, is, is self-managed and uh, so it's so busy now that it's really taking all my time and you know and that's it's it's cool to have control of your things though so it's a good thing yeah plus you uh, as I heard you wanted to write a book anyway about the, the yeah and uh, you know it's that's another thing I'm almost finished with it and uh, it's just long now I'm, now the problem that I have now is that as I'm going there's new things developing new things that people don't know some crazy things happening so i'm keeping on writing <laughs> and i have to stop somewhere so i have to figure <laughs> out maybe after this whole tour i think <laughs> i have some time in the summer i'm going to close a book and and release it it's really for the fans and even if you're not a fan of cataclysm i think when you're going to read it you're going to really see a really cool story from people that had nothing were nothing had everything against them and actually did something you know even if it's yeah. not the huge like you know 5,000 people on high type of thing. We still did something that a lot of bands, you know, I don't think I've achieved yet and we're really happy about it, you know. Yeah. So, obviously, both of you are very busy, so now you need to find something for the two, two other band members to do besides Cataclysm. Mm, they're, they're drinking, that they take all our booze. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what they do. It's an important <laughs> job as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a good thing. I mean, Stefan's now started his own merchandising company. Okay, that's a start. So we all want to stay involved with the music because it's what we love to do. And as you know yourself, it's something that's great to, to be part of and, and uh, something that you give back and you receive. And it's always a great um, experience, you know. In life, you have to do always what you think is the best thing to do, I think. You'll be happier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good word. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much uh, for being here. See you at the Rock Hard thank Festival. You. Thanks. Support Rock Hard. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> And see you soon. Das war's aus der Zeche Karl von Kataklism. Bis bald. Danke. Okay.